Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's seminar. This is Wakana from Atago and today we are going to talk about how to easily measure essential oil with REPO5, which is our refractor polarimeter hybrid model. We have a poll on the side, so please participate in the poll if you have time. Um, first, what is essential oil? So essential oil is 100% plant extract obtained either by distillation or cold pressing. There are various categories. Uh, some are extracted from flowers, some are extracted from birds or leaves or fruits. It's mainly used for aromatherapy, cosmetics, and cleaning products. And if it's used for aromatherapy, it has some effect of easing stress and relieving pain, etc. So here it explains how essential oil is made. So basically, uh, the the flowers or some other ingredients of essential oil is uh, steamed and the steam and the oil vapors go to the condenser where cold uh, water um, makes the steam back to water and the water uh, mixed with essential oil go to the separator. In the separator, uh, water and oils don't mix up together, so uh, only the essential oil comes up, comes out, and then be measured with uh, instruments such as our repo, and then be bottled in small uh, glass bottle. And remaining floral water will going to be stored separately and used for other products. So when to measure? For manufacturers, uh, it's important to measure finished uh, essential oil to make sure its value is within predefined range and also to create specification sheet. Among the items below, our instrument, Repo5, will be measuring refractive index and specific rotation. And for essential oil users, uh, it's used to check specification sheet or to uh, measure to see if it's a pure essential oil or some synthetic fragrances are mixed up. Then let me talk about uh, REPO series. So what is REPO? REPO is a refractor polarimeter hybrid so it is a refractometer, but it's also a polarimeter. And it's portable yet tabletop. So the instrument fits in two hands like this. So you can bring it anywhere you want. But it's also a tabletop instrument. So you can also uh, let it stay on the table uh, like a lab equipment or something. And it doesn't need any observation tubes. So the usually uh, polarimeters comes with a big um, instrument and you will be needing the observation tubes. But uh, this instrument doesn't need any observation tubes at all. And it needs only a small amount of sample. It's three milliliters. Uh, for those who don't want to waste their sample, a small sample adapter is also available at Atago. You will need only 0.3 milliliter or 0.53 milliliter. You can minimize the sample waste by using these kind of adapters. It looks like this. So this is the adapter and this is the glass cell. You can put two uh, per parts together and put onto the sample stage and measure. So then it's our REPO5. So REPO5 is a refractive index model. It measures 
angle of rotation, bricks, refractive index, specific rotation, and concentration. It's used for pharmaceutical or fragrance and cosmetics and chemical industry. So here it explains a little bit about specific rotation and concentration. Like I said before, uh, REPL5 measures uh, angle of rotation and refractive index by itself. But if you want to know the specific rotation, you should be knowing uh, concentration beforehand. And if you want to know the concentration, you should be knowing the specific rotation beforehand. That's because uh, specific rotation is 10,000 times angle of rotation divided by length of observation tube millimeter times concentration. So that's why you uh, should be knowing the concentration if you uh, want to know the specific rotation. And the opposite is the same. And today's our demo is going to be the uh, first one. Uh, we are going to measure the specific rotation. So we already know and calculated the concentration of the sample. So the presentation is uh, until here, and we are going into the demo uh, video. So I will change the camera here. So here the video starts. Can you see the video? There is a time lag, so we will wait for a second. Okay, no problem. Okay. So here, uh, starting with zero setting. So first you have to clean the sample stage with water and wipe the water with tissue. Then you pour water in the sample stage. You can use tap water here and power on. It's measuring. And it says 0 0.05, but we uh, press the zero button here. The blinking will stop in a minute. Okay, zero set is done. And then uh, please press start again to make sure it reads zero. Yes, it's perfect. So now we uh, have to set the observation tube lengths. So the factory setting is 200 uh, millimeter, but what we are going to use today is 100 millimeter. So we have to set up that. We need 100, so press bricks to change the number. And setting is done. Yes. Next is the setting of optical path lengths. The factory setting is uh, is twenty, and what we are going to use today is five. So we are going to set up that. Yes, five and setting is done. Mm -hmm. 
and we're setting the concentration or checking the concentration. So we already calculated the concentration of this sample. It's 16.5 and setting it's all done. So now let's prepare to measure. So adapter has a circle or hole on both sides. And the sample stage has a circle or light sources on both sides of the sample. So uh, please make sure to match the hole together. It's lavender oil and dilution uh, have, have to be needed. One gram of lavender oil and five grams of ethanol and mix it up. And fill it in the glass cell that I showed you before. See, it needs a very little amount of sample to measure. Then power on. Every time you press a uh, air all, uh, the pointer will point the air all. It started measuring. Yes. And specific rotation is a uh, negative nine point uh, seven point nine. After you uh, measure the specific rotation, you take out the adapter and you are going to be measuring refractive index next. For refra refractive index, you're going to be uh, needing the pure sample, not diluted sample. So change it to a uh, refractive index by pressing user. It's 1.45. The normal refractive index value for lavender oil is 1.45 to 1.46. So it's within the range. Now cleaning is very simple and easy. You wipe the sample of this tissue. And pour some water to clean up the sample stage. You wipe off the water with tissue. Uh, you should uh, use alcohol to clean up the sample stage because it's the oil sample. And after you use the alcohol, please make sure to rinse it with water because alcohol will make the contamination and affect our next measurement. Yes, the video is finished. There's a time lag, so I will wait for a second. Okay. So then the presentation and video are all finished. So we are going to uh, we are going to move into the question Q and A session. Do we have any questions so far? No. Uh, so uh, I will talk about a little bit about the uh, um, optical path lengths and uh, observation tube lengths. So first, uh, optical path lengths, we used five millimeter today uh, because Redport's length is 
uh, 20 millimeter and the adapter is 5 millimeter so we have to make sure that uh, the optical pass length matches with uh, the adapter that we are using and for the observation tube lengths uh, so the factory setting is uh, 20 millimeter but what we are uh, using today is 100 millimeter so we um, have to make sure that it matches with the one that we are using today yeah. essential oil industry uh, people use 100 millimeter length of observation tube so that's also the reason why we chose uh, the observation tube 100 millimeter length today Okay, do we have any questions? No? Okay, then uh, we are going to finish this presentation. Thank you for joining today's seminar. Um, and I will say goodbye.